الحمد لله رب العالمين والعقبة للمتقين ولا عدوان إلا على الظالمين وشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يقول الله تعالى بشر الصابرين الذين إذا أصابتهم مصيبة مصيبة قالوا إنا لله وإنا إليه راجعون وقال أيضا وهو بذلك أمرت وأنا أول المسلمين وقال عليه الصلاة والسلام عليكم بسنتي وسنة الخلفاء الراشدين المهديين من بعدي وعضوا عليها بالنواجض فإن شر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار وقال أيضا ما من أحدث في أمرنا ما ما ليس منه فهو رد أما بعد brothers and sisters in Islam welcome to an to another episode of of the wives of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam will be finalizing with the life of of the wife of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam Zainab bint Khuzaima so Zainab lived in the house of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam pleased and happy and she was near to him and that Allah had honored her and made her one of the mothers of the believers. She did not remain for long, however, in the house of the Prophet wasallam, for she died a few short months after her marriage to him. She was a kind and generous woman, compassionate towards the poor and needy and spending of her wealth for the sake of those in need, in such an extent that she was known as the mother of the needy. The story books and the books of Sira have not conveyed much about Zainab anha. This is due to the short time which we sh- she stayed in the house of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. History books and the books of Sira have not conveyed much information about Zainab to us. This is due to the short time for which she stayed in the house of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. She remained for only a, sh- a few short months, passing through like a slender shadow, and then she died peacefully. As she had lived and was recorded in the history of Islam as one of the mothers of the believers and in humanitarian history as the mother of the needy. So again, the moral lesson. Hmm? I'm here of Mother Teresa, huh? who and who did things to the to the world. But here we, we have people of whom the Quran, huh? the divine book, has recognized. The of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Another lesson for me and you: don't forget the needy. Yeah, these things which made them to be called umul mu mu meminin. Their their characters. Do does the world know no such people who are with the best of the best of of our of khalq? So it is my duty. And your duty to convey such people to the outside world. Mm. Brothers and si- sisters, ponder over, over the lives of, of these lives of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's wives. Mm. Learn the moral lesson in their stories. So Alhamdulillah. No, no, not much has been said about Zainab bint Zainab bint Khuzaima. Huh? Not like, you know, like Safiya bint Huyei. Hmm? Or, or, or any, any other for the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Hmm? Many of his wives died after the, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Like now we shall we shall see another one. Hmm? Safiya bint Huyei. Hmm? Let's look at her name and her genealogy. 
și Isa Safiya bint Huyayi bin Akhtab bin Sayah or Sana Sa'na bin Thalaba from the tribe of Lawi, the son of Jacob, the prophet of Allah, the son of Isaac, the son of Abraham, and before that from the offspring of Aaron, the son of Imran and the brother of Moses. She was an honorable and intelligent woman of noble lineage and possessing great beauty. She was married prior to embracing Islam to Salam bin Mishkam and then to Kinana bin Abu al-Huquq who was killed during the battle of Badr. So the, this is another wife of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam named Safiya bint, bint Huyayi. Hmm? She was a Jewess before embracing Islam. Okay? The Battle of Khaybar. After the Messenger of Allah وسلم, signed the Treaty of Al Hudaybiyah, he set out for Khaybar in order to conquer it because the Jews had hated the disbelievers during the Battle of Al Khandaq. He gave the standard to Ali bin Abu Talib anhu, and the army marched until it reached the vicinity of the forts of Khaybar, arriving by night. However, the Prophet ﷺ did not order an attack on them for it was his custom not to attack by night. Instead, he would wait until dawn. Then if he had the call to prayer, he would not He would not attack. But if he did not hear it, he would attack. Mm -hmm. When morning came, the Jews came out of their forts in order to go to their farms. They were quite calm, carrying their farming implements and riding their animals. But when they saw the Muslim army, they ran back fearfully into their forts, crying out Muhammad and the army, Muhammad and the army. Reported by Al-Bukhari, Muslim, Ahmad and Malik. Malik bin Anas. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam then attacked the forts of Khaybar and conquered them one after another. Among the forts was the fort known as Al-Qamus, which belonged to Bani A'a. Abu al-Huqiq, from which the Prophet took captives, including Safiya bin Huyay after her husband, Kinana bin Abdul al-Huqiq, had been killed. So here is there's another story about the, uh, about the battle of Khaybar. Because the Jews had aided the disbelievers during the, uh, the battle of Al Khandaq. There was also another battle. Mm -hmm. The Jews also aided the disbelievers during the battle of Khandaq. Hmm? Like the Bani Qureza, which is story, which the story we shall look later when we are discussing the seer of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. There will be a full program regarding the seer of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Mainly, insha Allah, I shall be using Muhtasar Seerat al Rasul alayhi salatu salam by Imam Al-Mujaddid Al -Mujadid, Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab. Also other sources will be used, but mainly I'll be using for, for this scholar since he's known to, to everyone. Also I'll be adding from, from other books. May Allah guide us until where we, we reached. The princess of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. After Al Qamus fort had been captured, Bilal radiallahu anhu took Safiya bint Huyay and her cousin to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, taking them past the Jewish dead as he did so. When the woman who was with Safiya saw them, she clapped her hands to her face and cried out in anguish, throwing dust off her face. Upon observing this, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, Aghribu hadhi shaytana anni. Remove this she devil from from me. Since it was this act, hmm? or oh, you find loopholes in Islam, hmm? 
the, this act is a for, for, forbidden act. Ulama tell, tell us the Prophet was very strict on Hudud. He didn't have nonsense when Had of Allah was being played at. Yeah. But now as for this woman, okay, the Prophet was strict. This woman, you know, she, she was not a Muslim. But it should not be taken to extreme that the Prophet was angry to her what? He was angry at her act since it was a forbidden act. Yeah. Even in books such as the Al Hadith Wal Bid'ah by Abdul Hamid Al Athari, Al Hadith Wal Bid'ah is the name of the book. He shows some of the, of the things people do, people do during the funeral which are not uh, good and are muhdath. And Bid'ah is, is bad, especially if it. If there's no asl in the sunnah. Hmm. <sighs> then he said to Bilal radiallahu anhu the pro or the prophet Anzi'ati rahmatu min qalbika hayna tamurru bil Mar'atayn ala qitla, ala qitla huma. Had the compassion been removed from your heart when you passed with these two women by their dead? Al-Isaba by Ibn Hajar al-Askalani. So, so it also shows the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was not fierce in killing his enemies, he had also iman on his enemies. Eh? Yeah, in Islam we are taught after the jihad, don't do anything bad to the bodies, like mutilating the bodies. Hmm? See, the Prophet eh, also was angry at Bilal also. Eh? As he passed by these two women, eh? near, near the dead bodies, Oh, you enemies of, of Islam, I challenge you, bring one dic dictator eh, with such com com compassion. Who tells the so 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 soldiers, what compassion do you have by passing by these dead people? Are these the characteristics of somebody who wanted to spread Islam by force? Who's, who was fierce in killing people? Wallahi, well, you will never get like the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Look, he's telling Bilal. Then he spoke to him kindly. After telling him, did you have compassion by passing by, by this two women among the dead? See the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. His compassion towards the, the, the dead. It's a lesson for me and you. Huh? Don't talk ill about the dead. Muslim or non-Muslim. Hmm? Just uh, leave, leave them alone. Although in hadith it has come that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the sahabas saw a dead person. Funeral came. This person was 